there's too much sex in our society, yes or no? Sex, sex. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> could be more like, for sure. <laughs> could be a bit more, yeah. <laughs> ha, how can there be too much sex? No. Still, uh, still like a taboo subject for certain people here? Come on, no, like, our mom's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's right in there. <laughs> I don't think there's ever too much sex. There is no such thing. Coming from Ireland, I think we need a good dose of sex. <laughs> I'd probably say, yeah, like in the gay society, there's a lot of kind of sex and it's so like impersonal, I suppose, a lot of the time. I know people that go out and have one night stands and things like that. I'm not into, I'm not into that at all. I've ne I never was. Just don't think there's enough frank conversation about sex rather than there's too much sex. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, but if we were talking about the other day, the way they use sex to sell everything now. Oh, OK. And it's, it's <laughs> pathetic. You don't have to be naked to make products appealing to consumers, no. But it seems like that's where the world is heading to. I don't know why, but... Is there too much sex in society? Sex is sex. You know, do whatever the hell you want, so long as you're with a legally consenting, mentally capable adult. Roll around in custard if you want. No one particularly wants to see it in the streets, but otherwise, do what you want. Have you ever made love with someone of the same sex? No. No, I, I didn't. No. 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 And I'm not interested. Yes, and I like it. Yeah, I have. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Wasn't mad on it. I preferred kissing girls rather than actually going to bed with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. I'm not interested and it's just because I know for a fact that I'm straight. Um, I have been with women. I've been with more than one woman, and I do like it. I did. Her name is Hannah, and she was lovely. I've, I've actually kissed a fellow before, and I, I didn't like it. It was just a little test, and uh, not even a little wiggle in the trouser department. <laughs> yeah, no, it was nice. She was a nice girl. Like, it was, it was interesting, and she got major brownie points for bagging a straighty. Apparently that was the thing. I was like, Yay. I don't know now. <laughs> I'm completely like writing my life off if I say I'm not interested. But I'm, I'm not interested, really. But you never know. <laughs> Have you ever made love with more than one person? <laughs> you mean at the same time? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no, but I'd like to try. Sure, why not? I'm sorry, Mammy, I have. Twice. No, but I'd like to try, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, but I probably wouldn't do it again. Uh, oh, I'm not really good at multitasking, you know? And it's just like, I can, I, I can only concentrate on one thing at a time, you know, so. Again, it's not something I'm interested in. It's, uh, I think it'd just be too sloppy. No, but I'd like to try. <laughs> I nearly did. I think I fired. <laughs> um, yeah, we were at a 21st. <laughs> uh, I can't wait until this year's one. This is going to be great. In, uh, Bray. in Bray. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, just one heard it. thing. Oh, it was next door. <laughs> I heard it all. And then the, the room next to them, actually, two gay men were having sex. And that was, and the two of them at the same time was like a crazy sex symphony. It was That's what you call a lonely sandwich. I know, just, this is what happens at I drama know parties. In my, I was sitting in my hotel, hotel room, just sitting there listening to whale music, trying to relax. <laughs> you're, doing, right? you're flicking through these very quickly. In. Before you say something, then I'm kind of going, oh my God. Have you ever practiced sexual abstinence? Uh, no. No. <laughs> never, never voluntarily. No. <laughs> yeah, not voluntary. Yeah, that's true. No, like I've never turned around and went, that's it. I'm done with this sex thing. No, I'm not doing it again. Have you ever practiced sexual abstinence? Yep, by choice. It was my second choice, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I like it. But not, like, during your, you know, the um, period time, you wouldn't. 
but but not give up. <laughs> I did actually. And no one believes me. I did for about a year. It was a really, really, really bad break breakup. <laughs> it was needed at the time, but I'd never do it again. Well, I suppose, I mean, I wouldn't have been the one to sleep around. So, I mean, I didn't sleep with anybody until I found the right person. So I suppose in a way I did. The Bible preaches abstinence. If you want to have sex, get married. <laughs> Uh, the longest sexual absence I've had is when I've been in relationships. <laughs> so... Oh, look, have you ever masturbated? <laughs> <laughs> have you? <laughs> Holy shit. My mom and dad is going to be watching this. <laughs> Skip that. Like, no, oh, no. Yeah. Yes, yes, and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Was he saying... <laughs> What kind of question is that, of course? Who doesn't? No. I'm not interested. Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> if anybody ever tells you that they have never masturbated, they're lying. They really are, because everybody does it. It's uh, good, for, good for your health and good for your kind of... It's like a stress relief, you know? Female masturbation when I was growing up was way too taboo a topic way too taboo and I thought there was something wrong with me because I had a sex drive I was like this something wrong with me there's something gone wrong and it took me like to my mid-teens to discover oh it's perfectly fine and a surprising amount of people do it never never oh, what is that no, that's not explain. God said your body's a temple and leave your temple alone <laughs> uh, no if we're answering honestly I suppose we'd have to say And I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried using sex toys? Yeah. Yes, I tried. I don't do no, no, I haven't. <laughs> 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 I, <tried to> remember. <laughs> I like tried as if he failed. So it's just like, I tried, but it wasn't a transformer and I put my eye out with a dildo. <laughs> Twice! <laughs> uh, not really. Yes. No, actually. I'd like to. Yes, and I've liked it. Um, yes, no, but I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> I have, and people who said they haven't are probably lying. No. Um, I can totally tell if I'm lying, can't you? <laughs> I can see it all over my face. <laughs> um, no, I actually haven't. <laughs> I actually haven't. <laughs> If you if if you want to abstain and not have sex with human beings, why would I want to dig something into myself? Like, <laughs> no, I actually well, like, what constitutes a sex toy for us? Like, are you talking about? Well, you're not getting like a fucking scale electrics out while you're banging someone. Yeah, let's just say that. Mm. Like handcuffs, the like anal beads or dildos and stuff like that. So I've tried it. I've got a rabbit. Don't really like it just because they're too artificial. It's like I'd rather a real penis than this cold metal thing moving around and making a lot of noise. They're really noisy. But no, I'm sure if someone gave me the opportunity and goes, Jesus, do you want, they're just too expensive. Like you're going in and things are like 90 euro. Like, like that's expensive. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like 90 euro to throw on a fake willy. Do you know what I mean? You'd rather just have the real thing there and that's it. Should we maybe skip this question? All right, let's skip this question. <laughs> let's keep skipping. <laughs> Have you ever made love in a public place? Uh, uh, no. Again, I wouldn't recommend it. You're better off using a bed. No. No, no I haven't. No. Don't think I'd really like to try it either. Yeah, yeah it's kind of a private thing. I suppose I have a house now. What's the point of doing it out in public? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would do it again. Yeah, it was good fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not. I will never like do it somewhere I could. Get caught, caught. Really, yeah, yeah, but like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I've done it on a beach, um, a few beaches, I suppose. Um, I've done it in a car, um, in a nightclub before. Oh, God. In a park. Um, most recently in a disabled toilet in a pub. <laughs> sure, look, Bob's your uncle, you know, sometimes when the time arises, you know. <laughs> Is it rude to say at church? 
Sacrilegious. <laughs> yeah. Was was there currently a mass in session? <laughs> I think it was a funeral. No. Uh, was it was it in the confession box while the priest was actually in your design? No. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Sorry, Father, for I'm currently singing. <laughs> um, for you, porn is um, a private, a little solitary pleasure. Just a bit of fun. It's mainly for a laugh with your mates. <laughs> Spicy. It adds a bit of spice to your relationship at random. Something you come across from time to time. Disgusting. It's a form of perversion. No, I think it's grand. I'm just I not really I, don't, oh, I don't really give a shit about it. No, me neither. I don't, really care. Yeah, I don't have any strong opinions. What? A bit of laugh with your mates. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Boy, he's trying to come over and watch porn. <laughs> the great crack. Private, a little solitary pleasure. Yeah. Don't have a lot of time. You need to rub it out quick. Porn is there. It's a fantasy. And everyone indulges in their fantasies, so it's a problem. No animals. And roll around in as much custard as you want. But like, I think it's, it's very, it's quite derogatory to women. I think it's not a, a reflection of what sex is like, yeah. really. No. Um, and I think there's a danger in how sex is presented and how it's perceived and how that affects our sexual relationships and our attitudes towards sex. Yeah, it's like, there's... There is definitely something disgusting, and that's not to say that I haven't looked at it like many times, you know. But there's something like really like misogynistically violent, you know. I think porn is spicy. It adds a bit of spice to your relationship. Yeah, and for those who don't, they don't have someone, I think it's something that they have at least porn. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For you, a one-night stand is an emergency <laughs> anyone will do. A chance encounter that ends up in bed, no bother. A love story that is just beginning, or so I hope. Aww. Impossible, never on a first date. It's for me anyway, it would be impossible. I wouldn't do it like... Yeah, I wouldn't do one night stand either. Chance encounter that ends up in bed, no bother. Uh, yeah. That's probably the most realistic answer. A love story, sure. If it happened, it happened. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. It should never be a love story that is just, okay, that's wrong too, because that is exactly how myself and my boyfriend ended up together. A love story that is just beginning or so, I hope. I don't particularly go looking for one night stands, it just kind of happens. A big no-no. I'm not into one night stands. Yeah. I, I, I would say uh, awkward would be my only thing, you know, awkward. Everything is awkward mm. with you, sweetheart. Mm. Um, this is true. I think I woke up beside somebody and uh, I said to her, I said, in my house I said and she says to me you're in my house I says I'll put the fucking breakfast on it <laughs> I think it belittles the lady in particular because I think we are more emotionally attached to whoever it is we're with they happen they do happen um, I wouldn't just go home with any you know Tom, Dick or Harry that was at the nightclub though because that could be dangerous and uh, you might not wake up in the next morning. I wouldn't like to be the guy who an emergency anyone will do. No. But there's definitely stages of my life where I'm like, I wish I could just it's, be it's, like it's that. Not like, uh, yeah. It's not like me mate Matthew who walked into McDonald's and uses the phrase to see what's left. <laughs> I never want to be like him. <laughs>